Well, good morning. <laughs> and I'm here this morning at the Fairfield Marriott in uh, New York. You might have recalled that I was at the Fairfield uh, Marriott in New Jersey uh, a couple months ago. That was uh, some months ago. But no, I'm here in New York, Fairfield Marriott. And I'm still on the topic of the amazing 5x12 matrix. But not as more amazing than the amazing grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And in this discovery, mathematical engineering discovery, I have shown a uh, comparative similarity of the miracle of the five barley loaves and two fishes with this amazing five by 12 matrix. There's a lot of uh, uh, numerical correlations, five barley or five zeros, and we're dealing with five uh, zeros as our input. Uh, Two fishes with the, the methodology implies uh, uh, fishing by tools. Uh, Twelve basket of fragments or surpluses was uh, gathered from that miracle, and here we have used a five by twelve matrix that is five rows and twelve columns, and uh, many other similarities. And our aim is to optimize the the, the applications uh, of this uh, uh, mathematical engineering discovery. Uh, with multi-dimensional field application, this is uh, applied in engineering. I use the word STEM is uh, in science, technology, engineering, and medicine. And I further uh, stretch it out to STEM ST2 entry, which implies science technology, teaching, engineering, mathematics, medicine, and music. I know uh, I'm here, I, I will not show the basic methodology in some of these uh, subsequent uh, presentations, but I will assume now that uh, my readers and listeners are now experience uh, with the methodology and the, the, the algorithm and will be easily able to uh, understand whatever phase I, I start off with. Here this morning again, my name is Dorothy Gilpin and this morning I'm starting off with the DDLI2DF. That is the, the DD, let's see here, uh, these things are not. D, D, L, I, T, D, F. Double digits, lateral inversion, uh, PDM rather, partial determinant uh, matrices. And we have derived this one from the original PDM. Which is the original, and I put that over there that it can go from that stage to that stage, and from that stage to that stage. And now let's uh, project our DDLI 2A matrix, which was derived from the PDM uh, matrix. And here we have, and we're starting off, you know, with LL star, and the star is just like another alphabet, another parameter. But I use it because this is the same way it was uh, projected on this uh, 5 by 11, 5 by 12 zero. And the, the numerical parameters were 50, 38, 13, and 60. So derived from the, uh, the PDM. And we have now 17, 39, 99, 22, and 09, 50, 99, 56, 
and 59, 30, 57, and 91. <clears throat> We next move on to now LL star uh, operating with the LL star. We get now uh, 39, 99, 30, 57, 96, and 13. 57.91. All right, I could have uh, done this mentally from my head. <clears throat> but this morning again, I'm not uh, deriving the, uh, the serials. But what I will be doing is using the, 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 the sub matrices that we was break, broken down from the, the major 5 by 12. And we're going to be use it to enhance solution in circuit analysis. That is mesh analysis by the mesh analysis method. And we're going to be using three by three matrices. That is three by three period. That is a use by period. Every period. Uh, 50, 90, 26. So it's one, two, three, and one, two, three by three. Uh, before, let us derive some of these uh, operator. I think this was uh, from the operator LL star 50. The next one would have been LL star 17. LL star, say 17 operator. And would have had the corresponding three by three uh, as 38, this would be a tree, 38, 13, and 60, 50, 99, 56, and 13, 57, 91. Let's do have some of these, because these we will be using these now I uh, will establish some model uh, circuit analysis problem with these same numerical period parameters as our input with resistances, inductance, and capacitance. And then we'll be deriving major, uh, uh, deriving uh, current and voltages using the Kirchhoff uh, voltage law, the KVL, and the KCL, the Kirchhoff current law, and Ohm's law. You know, let's derive some of these before we set up our model uh, circuitry and uh, with our matrices, with these as the, the parameters. Uh, so I'll uh, say LL star 09, which is now 38, 1360, 50, or 39, 99, 22, and 13.57. Nine to one. So it will be LL star fifty nine. Actually, you know, thirty eight. 13, 60, 39, 
and 50, 99, 56. A little marker here is uh, acting up here. Let's start doing some random one instead of following the, the sequence, which we'll do if we're doing everything comprehensively and holistically. We'll have come down and then next one will be 30, then next one will be 50, 39, and 30, and 13, 99, And for each one of these operator, LS star, 13 will have a, some operator with a 3 by 3 matrix, period matrix. Okay. But instead of doing 13, let's randomly choose one, say the 22, and we'll have, let's say, LS star. 22 the corresponding 3 by 3 matrix using this operator would be 50, 30, and 13. <clears throat> and 0, 9 would be 22. So we'll get 50, 30, 30, 17. No, that one we are out. 0, 09, 50, 99. And 59, 13, 57. 59, 13, 57. I say no, LL star. <clears throat> right, let's choose one of these 99 here. And so if we choose this one, so we have LL star 99 as our operator. I put a 99 below here for, for space sake. <clears throat> then it will be 50, 30, 60. 50, 30, 60. Seventeen, thirty nine, twenty two. And 59, 30, 91. 59, 30, 91. Remember though, we're going to be using these three by trees. Uh, we're going to set up our model circuit circuits, electrical electronic circuits. These are the input parameters using Ohm's law, Kirchhoff uh, voltage law, Kirchhoff current law, and Ohm's law. And then we'll solve for current and voltages. And depending on the inputs parameters, so for example, if we have say everything consistently in micro uh, in micro units, then or answer would come out as micro units. Uh, if you have everything in say kilo uh, units, then every the answer will come out in kilo uh, current, kilo voltage. Uh, so what we have six out of our, uh, I think we'd have got about uh, 16 of these. One, two, three, four. Each one of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty. Sixteen 16 of these are three by three period matrix. I've only generated uh, six of them. And from these, we'll have our corresponding two by two, which will leave us to some uh, uh, more simpler electrical electronic circuitry. So let's, uh, derive some of this and let's say we take L star 39 and let's say from this one we take L star thirty nine so that will be fifty now thirty nine that would be the operator And we'll get the corresponding period two by two as 99, 56, 57, 91.
Or I'm going to, at this point, draw some random uh, circuitry here. Uh, with some basic uh, And like this would be say A B C D E F resistance. And say this is uh, some current. Let's just draw. Let's draw some random uh, circuitry here. Later on, we're going to be solving it using the mesh analysis. Let's draw another here, two by two here. The impedance there. Let's just say, put in the voltage there. Cause voltage Y. The, these are unknown. Everything is unknown here. Yeah? Remember, no, we will have to have like, uh, uh, if we have only uh, two unknowns, then we could solve simultaneous equation. One and one will solve linear equations. And if we have three unknown, then we'll have to solve uh, three equations to uh, get uh, the known quantities. All right, uh, let's continue. Uh, these are examples of some of the circuits we solve. So, like for this one, this pair two by two, it will be something like uh, this, with the parameters uh, in, and uh, <laughs> let's do some other. some random circuitry and uh, uh, we set up some uh, specific ones and, and solve for them. All right, uh, let's take one of these uh, pair two by two using the LL star 17 operator, LL star 17 and say 50. Corresponding period two by two will be thirteen sixty and fifty seven ninety one. We we'll take a break here. Uh, 
and then we'll come back to set up some circuitry. Take a break at this moment and we'll try to get a, a better marker. This is a star. This is 17. The marker is not uh, doing properly. So, so let's take a break. We'll come up with a, a better marker. 